Hello, I'm Patricia McNeely. I am an illumined Blu-ray twin flame from Chicago, Illinois. How are you today? Thanks for watching my videos. And today what I want to talk to you about is the new moon, which is in two days, February 8th. And some of the things that people will be feeling, some of the things that have been going on. And I hope to give you a lot of confirmations about what you've been feeling. And I will admit that there are times that sometimes this does not look like love. However, the love is there to clear things away so that you can feel the higher level of love, which is why you came here. Why were you even born? Sometimes that existential question of why are we here, why were we born, is uh, quite simple for twin flames. It is to be in love again. And yet this process, and it is a process, it isn't easy. So uh, some of the things I want to talk to you about, we're in the month of February here in the United States. It is Heart Health Month. Pe a lot of people wearing red, a lot of people trying to get their walks in. Um, it's just Take Care of Your Heart Awareness Month here, maybe in other places too. Uh, it's also, I know every place doesn't celebrate Valentine's Day, but uh, a lot of places do. And so there's a lot of emphasis on love and romance, and yet sometimes people have broken up, and they're really not feeling the love and romance. And I want to encourage you, I want to help you to really know some of what is behind the scenes so that you can really be encouraged to keep going forward here. And this is a difficult place for a lot of people. And there were a lot of messages, some of those messages only panned out for some people. So I want to remind everyone again that we're not doing this en masse. We are doing this as couples. So couples here, couples there, couples there, couples there. It's part of the reason I show my map videos so people can see globally where are the couples pocketed. Because they tend to be around large metro areas, but um, it's, it's still happening. This is not that it's not happening. And some countries will begin popping open and being awake even more. Just like we've seen certain ones where they've awakened. And some of that awakening is exactly this energy for the new moon. It's revolutionary. It's evolutionary. It's changes. It's sometimes uncomfortable changes because what is familiar is sometimes comfortable even when it's uncomfortable. And people will tend to stay with the familiar even when they know it might not be healthy for them. So right around this time of year, traditionally, this is the time of year at this new moon, February 8th. We also have Chinese New Year on the same day. So it's a, um, they celebrate the lunar cycles and the new moon. So this is highly significant. It is red monkey year. It's the year of the fire. The fire. And we're going to see the fire come out in lots of ways. And yet that fire is getting tempered. So um, what we can say about this, some of you saw my video where I had a plant. And I uprooted the plant and the plant had to go somewhere. But what happens is we are celebrating the life that is stirring under the ground. Keep celebrating. Keep yourself upbeat, in other words, because what you don't see, when you don't see the growth, and this is true for a lot of people, this could be a cancer that goes into remission. This could be new skin that's growing. This could be new nerves. It can be a new baby. It could be your business. It could be your calling. It can be new plants. It can be uh, new baby animals. It's going to be a lot of things in a lot of different areas of the world. Now, in the northern hemisphere, of course, we are coming into spring. These are the first inklings of the spring is coming. And in the southern hemisphere, it's time for harvest. It's time for picking up all the things that you've planted. And yet, you know, we're all sort of in this uh, 
We're in this together, and yet we are departing from the collective. Yes, you're shearing clean away, and it is a painful process for some people. So everything that's been trapped will break up and move. Now, I saw this actually two years ago around this time. I was given an image of a frozen river, but one in which the ice flows begin to break up. And I had calls from several people, friends of mine, uh, some of them clients, letting me know that finally they had a breakthrough of some kind, either a small breakthrough, a big breakthrough, a move, and it continues. So whatever's been trapped will break up and move. Anything that's been feeling imprisoned, if people have put themselves back in their prison because it's comfy, they're going to find that, you know, maybe it's not so comfy anymore. I want to let you know also, this is also a message. Even though you're here, even though you've lightened up, and even if you've met your twin, you're still in the dark. So in some ways we could say this planet is very much off the grid. You know, you have those people that want to be off the grid. They want to not rely upon you know, big systems, and they dream of having some place in the woods, and it's all over the internet, especially here in the United States, there's people, and yet there are people in countries, I remember a trip I made to Mexico, and there were people that were quite off the grid using building materials from wherever they could find. And I'm sure that they would like the opposite. It's funny how sometimes what we want is the opposite, and yet that's a mental thing. You know, we uh, tend to focus on something, and that is exactly what we are departing from. It's going to be releasing emotional attachments, and it is happening at a phenomenal speed here. So you are the ones who've been living in the dark for some time. And for some of you, I do know people, I've talked to people, I've read for people who recall living here in the Stone Age, living in caves, and it's a distinct and clear memory for them. Not everyone has the same memories because not everyone has been here at the same time during the same periods. But even if you've met your twin, it is still not 5D. You're still getting to 5D and you will still need to put yourselves together. And when I say put yourselves together, it means that merge. Exactly what I'm telling, talking about here. It is the metaphysical parts of you fitting together. And yes, your bodies will be up against each other. And it's a completely different thing. Unless you've experienced it. And I've heard people call it different things. I had a friend who met her twin at work, and she was actually calling it teleporting. It is frequently an almost out-of-body experience where you're almost out of your body, maybe partially and partially out. You're still in control of your body, and yet you are still going to 5D. The only way to get there is going to be with each other because it's new and you've been made new. And whatever you may have previously experienced is actually considered old by this point. It's not old and worn out and outdated. It was clogged up with a lot of strings of attachment to a lot of other people, places, things, and entities. Other entities, yes. So even if you're enjoying life, you will be unable to resolve going between two dimensions, between the two dimensions, and living in two realms unless you've done the proper things. For some people, what the proper things are is going to be a move to where you're supposed to be. Uh, it may le be leaving a job. And that happens for people where they feel this overwhelming urge to leave, get out. They want to scream. They have to get out of being what feels like being trapped. And yet they don't know how do they do this. And some of the emotions that are going to come up with this, I want to let you know, 
things are colliding from deep underneath inside you worlds are colliding so that you can snap things off there are things that are being cleared out of you whether you realize it or not because sometimes you won't get the details from your head your body is letting you know that it's getting a chill it's getting an inflammation it's getting a um, an increase or decrease in your uh, body temperature you may feel aches pains tugging sensations or even poking sensations into your organ and especially where it is felt is along the spine a lot of people having back trouble that started prior to the new year and it's been continuing I myself have had tailbone pain and I know exactly what it is and it's uh, something that I've been working on I don't want it there it's painful is it debilitating me no and as we go into the new year here even further what you're going to find is that we're going to be turning the corner into really talking about the good stuff right now we're getting rid of everything that we don't want and it's the process it's actually been going on so this is actually this time period here this new, new moon is that once again I'm gonna say it like that black velvety deep loamy fertile blackness of the earth or the womb okay even if you're a man and you say but I don't have one of those you have the connections to um, this new moon in order to help you create and for some people it may be as extreme as a dark night of the soul for some of you you're going to have to sit tight while your twin flame goes through some form of a dark night of the soul because they're here to be with you and they're not here to bring all the baggage into a household with you they're just not so they're getting rid of almost everything that they can and sometimes it is happening so fast it makes the head spin some of the other sensations the vertigo the dizziness feeling like you're off balance because you are literally off balance some of you are 75 percent masculine and you're off balance until that 25 percent comes along to balance you and some of you are 75 percent or some percentage of feminine and until your twins other part comes along and in to balance you you just you just won't feel balanced you won't feel okay you won't feel as though you have everything you won't feel like oh I can breathe I've got some stability I've got some calmness now it's up to you to get the light in and in my last video I mentioned as you come down to earth you are focusing on balancing you two on the bridge that you've created a lot of people are having slips and that happens because sometimes they don't know what else to do and there's people looking and looking at their twin and and looking and going and I'm gonna say it right here how they get it is through you how they get it is through your actions through the changes you make on the inside and never losing focus on them never ever ever you don't give up on your twin you don't say well I'll do this while they're doing that that's duality you want to get to the fifth dimension and I I hear it from people they say I don't care anymore about the fifth dimension that's a choice that's a choice that you're making because this is no longer a en masse collective thing this is not a mass ascension it is a choice but what I can tell you is usually within the Union one of you if one of you has made the proactive choice and decision and done what you can and been proactive you're gonna get there so everything that you've been working on for the past few years essentially from 2012 okay 2012 was a very hopeful year for a lot of people for some people they considered it the end of end of everything we see know it but it was actually the end of karma 
It was the opportunity to get off the karmic wheel. A lot of people met each other in 2012. Everything that you've been doing up until that time, all of your own personal and maybe around you environmental transformations that you've made, it's going to pay off now in this time frame for this next cycle. And by cycle, I mean seasonal cycles for a lot of people. These are seasonal cycles. Doesn't mean it's going to happen next week for some people. It may happen in March. Might happen in April. But I encourage you to stick with it. Are you sticking with the old story or are you ready for your new chapter? That's another thing. Because a lot of you haven't been able to resolve everything by sticking in the lower dimension. So you're going to have a lot of very high emotionality during this period. You're going to find that there's a lot of people where you might just say, I don't get it. They're, they're having an issue. But I want to let, I had like a little demo here. You know, here's, you could say this, you know, here's this watery emotion. And many of you are, yes, You've been Olympic swimmers in the water. You've gotten yourself and you're like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And here's the twin and the twin keeps falling back in and you got to kind of yank them out and they fall back in and you're saying, how's it working for you? And the twin is saying, well, I've got the munchies. See, he's got the munchies and he... He wants to actually avoid and do some other stuff. And then you've got maybe another twin like this. And he's saying, don't see me. You can't see me. I'm not going to crack a motion. Don't you see who I am? Look at me. I'm dark. I'm dark. I'm brooding. Isn't that sexy? And it's not because that's going to slip back into that's going to slip back into 3D. Oh, he's not even fitting. And, you know, you could have any number of things that you're, you or your twin have done to get by in 3D and survive. You know, we've got the angry warrior. We've got just the survivalist here. you got all kinds of people with the way that they've coped. They're the martyr. They're the victim. They are not really knowing how how do they get up and over and I want to let you know that along with this moon it's going to dredge out things for people it's going to ask you if you are emotionally independent or are you needy are you this is your opportunity once you break away from the collective. Your mental and emotional body are breaking away from the collective. No more emotional attachments. And when I say break away, I don't mean strictly loneliness where you have to completely isolate. What I mean is that you will actually feel detached. And you'll feel good about it and you'll feel healthy. I talk about this quite a bit in my September webinar where I had several exercises to help you release the mental and emotional parts so that you could easily detach from people. Um, you might see it within and of course nobody wants to be needy or codependent. Those are words that are thrown around. That's, those words helped us understand some of the concepts of what we are feeling however this is your true opportunity for emotional independence which is very important because your emotions will come from exactly what you experience not from that Pavlovian response of this happened and that happened and that happened you know like oh you fell in your beer again or you fell into that again how's that working for you it's it's not going to come from that. It will come from a genuine sense of feeling everything. Desiring to live, really live, 
or remaining suicidal and feeling depressed. This is another thing I need to let you know. There are a lot of people that unless they keep their vibe up and unless they get some form of physical activity, um, start getting healthy. And I know I sound really preachy. What I want to let you know is you're not here to be perfect. Your perfection is in your light bodies in the fifth dimension. But many people do know things that are unhealthy for them and things that need changing. That's where you start from. You're not going to completely overhaul overnight. The overhaul's actually been happening for a lot of people since 2012 or prior to. And that's where it's um, different for everyone. Because some people were born wired up ready to be with their twin just to conclude karma. Other people have had major soul damage. And what is soul damage? It shows up sometimes as very physical illnesses such as cancer. It's going, it shows up in the mental emotional body with things like bipolar or manic depressive, ADHD, ADD. And these are almost really twin flamey things because there's another person on the planet that actually affects you. If they're eating something that you're allergic to, they can affect you. You might not know why you are having a reaction to something, but your body will tell you that it's more than likely connected there. And to those who are very astute, you're going to know a lot more than you're giving yourself credit for. It's especially going to be repressed, rep people who are repressed sexually, intellectually, and physically, and spiritually. It can be volatile. This is, can be volatile, emotional stuff, very watery, possibly weepy, possibly giggly, and fun. But the whole key here is that you're tempering. You are tempering so many things here. And just to talk a little bit about the things that are, you know, living in the dark. What other things, you know, there's a lot of things that do help. You know, when you sprout something, that's life that's starting in the dark. If someone has a dark night of the soul, it's not such a terrible thing. It, it does usually get them some explosive growth. It's going to be painful sometimes because it's going to mean um, giving up or letting go things. But that's really the key here is that you are using this moon energy wisely. Use it wisely. There's going to be some other stuff that comes up for people next week. And this is um, for a lot of people who might be connected to um, Christian culture. You might feel the effects of it. So we've got here in the United States, we've got uh, the Super Bowl is um, on Sunday. That's a lot of masculine energy. That's a lot of vol volatile, up, down, aggressive, masculine energy. If you're connected to someone who feels that or likes it, you may be feeling those hangovers. A lot of you have passed through the holidays and the new year, and then you get into January, and you are just flat out exhausted because of that emotional hangover. And you may feel some of the overindulgence, some of the um, disparities that you might feel from people wanting to be free. People want to be emotionally free. They don't want to always be tied to people. And that's what's shifting so that it can connect to the heart. All of the proper things are being connected to the heart. And you're taking out whatever um, the needs are, which can sometimes be obligations, family obligations, duty, and guilt, shame, judgment. All of those kind of things are coming out so that you can fully be with your twin without any of those things. You may have um, religious stuff too. Next week is something that's starting. There's Carnival, Carnival. There is Mardi Gras here in the United States. 
and a lot of places celebrate there's a lot of overindulgence it's the day for overindulging and then you're supposed to have a period of time where you're purging purging you're you know going inward not everyone does so you know there's things that go along with the religious stuff is it guilt shame is it you know there will be emotions that come up and out as the result of lifetimes of being repressed somehow and that's going to come out that repression shows up on the body now I have tools of course like I've said in fact I am very much I'm very very proud of the webinar I did in September that I call universally free to fly because right around last September, that was after the Lions Gate, that was when we began closing the door on some things. A lot of people could feel it in their mental and emotional parts. It was making them feel very scattered, very dizzy sometimes. This was a, a purge of a sort. And yeah, when you um, are experiencing both ascension symptoms and some of this other emotional stuff it's rough so it's not intended to be rough for you all the time this is a period of time to get things out this webinar I've got four to five exercises that are so easy to do to help you when you um, feel head buzzings and you want to bring bring the energies and clear other things the main gist of my exercises are a to get your channels open and help you keep them open B for you to feel the higher energies in a really good way C to easily and more easily be able to keep this stuff out and moving and I get a lot of good feedback on it so if you have it have bought it already dig it out again thank you to those who have if not the link is or the uh, button to purchase it is on my website and my website is going to be below this is going to be a good new moon and there's a lot of things coming up here that we're going to talk about that I haven't even started talking about and just to give you some ideas of what it is um babies how will the new babies new golden babies I know that's a question on a lot of people and there's people that are very sad pay attention to your energies during this because women when you release emotions you may feel it around your reproductive parts and your uh, private part organs you may feel aches pains pokes um, phantom stuff that feels like you know something's poking you or touching you or something like that it's all going gentlemen if you feel things also in certain areas please know that not only do I have tools it will go very quickly and I don't wish to alarm people I wish to inform you so that you're aware that these parts of the process are almost necessary and your body itself has the conduits to get it up and out your body is a crystal light body you're here to be new you're not bringing that with you why would you want to bring it with you this new moon is actually a really good time to purge things you may have times that you have to be isolated to do so and then out and each time you're going to find that the little seeds that have you know been inside that there's growth there you've actually grown and that your twin has grown that's one thing I really want to emphasize because I get a sense that there's people that somehow don't give their twin proper credit and yes there is growth in the dark that's exactly that's exactly the point okay you may perceive that you know there's things but this is this is happening in more ways than 12 because you have several uh, 
several subtle bodies. So in order to um, do this, what I would suggest to you is, is focus on you and what your own body is experiencing. Focus on what your heart is telling you. Because gradually as you uh, split away, and it's upsetting, a lot of us are so tired of losing people along this journey. But there is a really good purpose. It's for full oneness with your twin flame. It's not that you won't have a life. It's desiring to live to, and really live the way you want to. A real life. Not a semblance of a life. Not a life of quiet desperation. You're here to really live. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you to everyone who subscribed. I really do appreciate it. If you would like to have a session or a, I have a brand new session, which is the Cosmic Heart Reconnection. I've been doing that now for several weeks, and it's very good. I also do a spirit chat with people, which is similar to my consultation. And it's everything's gotten more expansive because we are going places, people. Thank you so much. Take care. Have a good week.